Rich, it's been at least three seconds since a homeless guy yelled at me. Let's fix that <laughs> without going to Los Angeles. Hey, hey, people. Oh, God. It oh, yeah! Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, he has risen. Jack here with another video. The king of giving you neck arthritis and epilepsy in the eye for his editing is not for mere mortals. Maxor, after taking a two month hiatus to work on his new magnum opus, is here to give us his summary of uh, G.R.R. Martin and Miyazaki's rendition of Fantasy California. For those of you who are wondering why I'm saying that, go watch his Ace Combat videos. Uh, he also Project Wingman. He has a running joke and I, according to the comments that be left to my reactions to those videos, it seems to be in agreement with the people. So that said though, we have a new video on Elden Ring. <laughs> Let's jump into it. Hey guys, welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play. Elden Ring, or as I like to call it, Boomer Band, is a fun new hack and slash and bash and crash my car. Developed by Epic Games director Hydro Tacos Miyazaki with the express purpose of inflicting pain upon the Gaijin. In this adventure, you play as the famous Vendeo Games protagonist Elden John as he undergoes many trials and tribulations on his quest to fight the entire Catholic Church and kill God. This game is a yep. little difficult. You could call it the Dark Souls of Skyrim. As such, many challenges await the player and most most of it is the work of Satan, as is every game made by the Japanese. Spanning a gigantic world slightly larger than Africa, we will find many secrets, uncover many attractions, and slay the entire cast of the Bible. I've always liked that book. My favorite part was the genocide. Why are you running? He's very genocidal. And this is part one, so there's a lot coming. <laughs> he made the sentinel a specific enemy which was by the way the worst thing that i've experienced i kind of have to say that some of the bosses was actually easier than some of those bloody <laughs> sentinels but let's keep going so we boot up the game and uh Oh, uh, silly me. I forgot to oh, yeah. the keyboard so my controller can work. Control now I'm free to make my character. <laughs> Our journey begins inside of the Microsoft Some PowerPoint, sort of the quality of which being so dubious that it resurrects you from the dead. Wake the fuck <laughs> up, Samurai. Of course, this is a FromSoft game, so Spider-Man is here to send us the fuck back. Do <laughs> a tutorial, which is a whole, a whole lot of fun. You know, just making <laughs> friends, influencing people, and providing intuitive solutions to the issue of life. And with that problem sorted, it's time to take the elevator so we can accomplish the impossible and go outside. Touch grass. Yeah. Welcome everyone to Limgrave, land of trees, laborious bears upon the trees. <laughs> Those are the worst. Astonished. If you're lost, how about you start by finding some bit... Huh. Uh, what? What? Uh -huh. I think that I've said it in previous reaction videos. Maxor is out to create the MCU, the Maxor Cinematic Universe. And, uh... It seems like it. Just stupid weeaboo wearing ass. When's the last time you took a shower with your dirty helmet wearing ass? With your weird ass cargo shorts your mama gave you? Look, what I'm trying to say is, <laughs> your fit is mid. And you get oh. zero bitches. Fuck out of my sight before I gotta look at those stank ass vans again. As the words of our friendly associate, <laughs> we proceed towards the castle in search of some bitches. In Dark Souls, we sought after the Dark Soul, and in Bloodborne, we tried to escape Britain. Escape Britain. But <laughs> our yeah. objective is to get the hose. This is a game mechanic. You cannot level up until you get a girl boss. So with nothing else True. to do, I guess we'll have to fight this tutorial boss. I am uh, he's, he's a little like. Uh, this tutorial is on how to flee in fear and uh, use geometry. <laughs> Proceeding to the next I spent 40 match, hours to kill that guy. Take direct combat in favor of the stealthy techniques of video game protagonist Rigid Danger Mighty Jungle Noodle, at which point they form a violence committee. <laughs> hmm. Try finger, but hold. What's up, bitch? What the fuck? My name is Melatonin. <laughs> wow! He took the. He's just like the Epic's voice guy. If you don't know him, please go and see his channel. He does amazing voice acting. Oh my god. This is crazy. We are but not even three minutes in. Okay, obviously there are some characters who are going to show up here. For one would be the man who created a whole market for JPEGs of Ganyu and loves miners. 
Kimochi Ross is going to be there. And I swear, if he plays the queen, I'm gonna lose it. But of course, I would like to see Seth in this video as well. It's, it's way too fitting. And if I may inquire, sir, I am in need of a quirked up white boy who can bust it down sexual style so that I may make him goated with the sauce. Okay. No cap. All we have to do now is kill every demigod on the planet. Every what? I'm glad you asked. Long ago, this land was ruled by the great Queen Marinara who pissed off <laughs> God so badly that he left. The <laughs> The Amazon gift card is shattered, and her athletic scions are holding a contest to see who can die the least. So God comes back when I kill them? No, but you get to keep the gift card. Uh, These are the faces of evil who have all claimed a shard of the card. Some seek glory, others redemption, and one is just really attracted to his younger brother. Wait, what the fuck? And after yeah. weekends at university, the tarnished warriors are called upon to rise from their tilted towers and achieve oh, one he's final amazing. victory royale. Jake Paul, <laughs> the Badlands, the ever wet skelly sleeper, the crazy car car consumer, <laughs> and least of all, you tarnished warrior. Is there like an opt out? Great, I'll send you to my dimensional pocket. I see. Hold on. Cool. The metaverse. Welcome to the round table hold, a place to rest, make purchases, and converse with the homeless. Do you sell magic? Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go over here now. He does not talk. <laughs> now, as for our comprehensible friends, we could begin with the blacksmith, but uh, he's a little busy right now. So that only leaves one more person, Fia, the deathbed companion, unique among all women, including my mother, for offering to hug me. Of course, I do accept for gameplay reasons, but what I was oh, aware of was that you. this one action permanently debuffed my health, and I forgot to turn it off for the entire game. The effect looks like this. And with that, I've reached my limit for human interaction, so it's time <laughs> to head back. Wow. Jesus Christ. To Stormvale Castle, where we can find the first demigod on our list of all people. Our approach begins by moving through the gate. Our approach begins with a battle against the lag beast, but honestly after that, the level is pretty easy. Wow. All right. Finally, a cutscene. God damn it. In search of the hose. Unfortunately, I hate. Margaret. That sounds like a you problem, Chief. <laughs> I am also homophobic. Margaret. <laughs> and you are looking pretty gay right now. Hey, guys, it's me, Max, or welcome to the first boss. There are so many memes made out of this guy. Yeah, he's a little bit odd. Uh, yeah. Margaret Thatcher is a yes! strong, very agile, and very interesting boss. Essentially, his purpose is telling you to fuck off and come back later, preferably when your bones are defragmented from the ass whooping. He combines delayed attacks, crazy combos, and eventually the hammer of God, just like the real <laughs> Margaret Thatcher when she hammered English oppression into the once peaceful. <laughs> oh God, this was not a good. This is not a good woman, but oh, I I was expecting him to go there, but I'm still surprised. Streets of Dairy, so I think I'm uh, I'm gonna uh, <laughs> I didn't take the hint and leave. Fortunately for us, Young Sheldon Ring is a game with all kinds of activities to prepare and unwind. You know, like killing the fucking dragon, which for some reason is easier, just yeah. too much easier. For the next leg of our journey, the now disgraced loser baby resigns himself to living in the woods. That way, he can exist peacefully among the giant bears and uh, whatever that is. Greetings, traveler. I am the pit. Uber the danger. Uh, have you seen any orphanages nearby? Why are you asking? <laughs> <laughs> Legend has it that at the edge of these woods, there's a well containing the tastiest children. Okay. Go there, traveler, and I will kill the infants of your choice. Okay, in search for bad, little to me. a good deal when I see one. Unfortunately, I am blind. Hey guys, it's Maxor here. Welcome to fucking Space Mountain. I hope you like being trapped in Smurf Valhalla because these fuckers don't play around. So to keep things short, this forest is watched Get over smurfed. by the spirit of a gentle stag, and my immediate impulse is to kill it. This necessitates lighting eight fires scattered throughout the sacred grove, or more accurately, there are two of them. them while enduring the trials of free acupuncture meets Markiplier jump scare. That is not a sentence I thought was possible, but then again, we do have sentient lightning. Sentient lightning. Mr. Krabs. So after lighting the fires at the expense of my 
life, we devour the necessary peyote to enter the spirit cave. And as it turns out, Bambi is back from the woods and they had a chill. <laughs> One eternity later. This is the part of the game where you turn into evil Teddy Roosevelt and have to kill the stag. <laughs> it's an amazing fight. I uh, like this fight. He shows me how bad I am at the video game and uh, reenacts my trips to the horse race in 2006. Overall, <laughs> it is a riveting and accurate portrayal of how fun it is to kill innocent forest animals. 10 out of PETA. Ooh. You don't even get anything from killing him, just the guilt. Well, a spirit summon. So after exiting the hell that is Quebec, we head across Limgrave to the Weeping Peninsula, called as such for its tendency to rain and also the race war. But before we get into that, we've got a few tasks to do, just like Among Us. These include fighting the sapient tree, uncovering chests that accidentally teleport me to the end of the game, and also the, uh, the bell, which may or may not cause hearing damage when you get close enough. It even contains the rarest of all loot, a woman who tells us the tale of Castle Morn, a lot of Blind women in this game. Permitting Furfest 2022 in their local Hilton. Except these are not costumes. Some have requested that I react to uh, the video by Andrew Callian on uh, Furfest. That is coming. It was not pleasurable. I don't know sometimes if you guys actually like me or like you really like me. My brother in Christ, they are misbegotten chimera and you're going to die. So as can be expected, they massacred everyone and started a county-sized race war and now they're sending me to clean up their human corpse ball pit. Fortunately, just like all issues in life, this one is fixed with a massacre. They haven't invented war crimes yet. I uh, like this level actually, it's pretty short. Just like this video, my favorite huh. detail is that they gave crack to an orangutan. Yeah. Oh boy, it's more animal cruelty. We're climbing back into Harambe's cage and there is no gun. You know, when he isn't converting my bones to sand, this fight is actually easy, mainly because his health is the size of my prefrontal cortex. But even you can still, predict I his had a great though. time reenacting the murders I did two years ago. And just like this fight, I will not face the consequences. Enjoy this while you can, because we... Fuck, Jesus. because we've got a few more people to talk to, such as D, a man who gives us a fair warning These about nets. the dangers ahead. The village here has been touched by death. Thanks, <clears throat> as well as speaking to the sentient jar, which you may find strange, but really we are all containers for suicidal thoughts. So after quelling his, our new friend Jar Jar Binks tells us to head east <laughs> to an industrious <laughs> land known as Gary, Indiana. You know, it seems like we're going a little bit off the beaten path with this one, but I'm pretty confident. After all, how bad can it possibly be? Welcome to Kaylin. the fuck is that? <laughs> You're oh, stuck no. in Brazil now. <laughs> Let's go back to the castle. This time I I think I'll walk all the way back to Margaret. Hey guys, it's Maxor here. Welcome back to the, the Let's Play. And on this episode, Margaret is still hard and a bit distrustful. One might say suspicious. We need to eject him. Margaret, more like Marge Simpson. <laughs> Even with better gear, this is a fight that demands, among other things, awareness and patience. Emphasis on the patience. But most importantly, this fight requires experience. Experience gained yeah. through fighting zoo animals, dragons, and even Canadians to squeeze out the narrowest of victories. <laughs> Just to watch out for the hammer. Really Done. glad we could beat the first boss up uh, nine minutes into the video. That one like everyone to store eight remaining. Castle, realm of the first demigod, Godric the Garfted. And if I can't get to him in 20 minutes, the lasagna is free. Stone <laughs> Vale is a complex, multifaceted dungeon with various paths, only one of which is correct. So instead, we take the side route across Try the wall, the front the gate. birds, and into a Chinese oh, yeah. chemical factory. So after cracking open a cold one with the boys, we ascend okay. the political compass until I have authority over life and death, which coincidentally leads us to the castle grounds. And uh, I didn't know they made Irish birds. Curdle. <laughs> I'm trying to sneak around, but the clamp of my ass cheeks keeps a little bit growing. All right, it looks like we're finally making some progress. All we have to do now is get through the um. Oh uh, yeah. The handyman knows how. He to sucks when you're a melee. They say he's quite the handful. Better use this door to uh keep him at arm's length. I'm very funny, by the way. Stay tuned for more laughs and gags on the Big Bang Theory Sundays on NBC. Wow. I'm sorry, Odie, but I could not stop myself. After all, it was a Monday. 
and die. What? Mondays. Pizza delivery for uh, Garfield. It's called it's lasagna. Pizza Hut really ought to work on serving giant castles. I work for Domino's. Then it sounds like you could use a bit of a hand. You know what? <laughs> uh, I command you to laugh. Do you know what I've gone through to make that joke? In this battle against the you know? Minecrafted, we put our patience to the ultimate test as Grandpa pilots his fucking mass gray Evangelion straight into the housing market. Much like his titular cat, Godric is a fucking gremlin who attained his abilities by entering Friedrich Fastbear's Mega Pissplex in the year of our <laughs> Luigi 1987 and then sewed the children therein to his wacky animatronic suit. They oh no, William! But besides that, his coordination is I still like coming. since he has to migrate a mosh pit to attack you and it's quite excessive. Godric holds all of his attacks until the heat death of the universe, which means <laughs> you have to pay attention to his arm carefully, and that's pretty difficult when he's shaped like a four-dimensional object. I'm finding it uh, pretty hard to keep track of him. He's ah. around and when I... <laughs> so we find nice. him slowly and with attrition, like the Viet Cong, dodging, slicing, and <laughs> dying, until eventually reaching the, uh... the, uh... Self-mutilation face. Oh, God. I guess he didn't need a hand. <laughs> so to overcome the taxes on his 401k, Godric decides to order a bad dragon to release his inner Todd Howard's The Skyrim. Man just said he decided to order a bad dragon. <clears throat> Do not Google bad dragon, but in case of you who are cultured enough to know what that is, he grasped said bad dragon onto his hand to feast the opponent. You could make that up. Finally, I have the power to cook all the lasagna <laughs> I want. Welcome to phase two, bitch. What is that song? This is the best game ever made. Yeah. Ah, uh, oh. table hold, my favorite location. There's really nothing else like it in the realm of physical science. Speaking of which, it's been at least three seconds since a homeless guy yelled at me. Let's fix that <laughs> without going to Los Angeles. Hey, hey, people. Oh, God. It oh, yeah. Okay, do you know what the bathroom is? <laughs> is the highest among all Reddit. That's not saying much. Did you know Ranala of a full moon resides? Okay, you know what? Never mind. Cat. Let's just talk to, uh... Uh... This is worse. Let's uh come back to that eventually. Oh no sign uh, language. I guess I'm stuck here. Fuck. Congratulations, we've made it past the first demigod out of six and a half. I'm sure his subjects will remember him fondly. Remember yeah. all the adventures we had together, all those places we've been. That was uh 10% of the map. I'll probably finish these videos in a nursing home. This <laughs> is the rest of the game, and wow. I better call Gandalf for that shit because we've got a ways to walk. Welcome everyone to Ligma of the Lakes, the largest <laughs> swamp that Miyazaki was allowed to build. 30,000 men have already died. And on today's episode, we will be heading to the second demigod on my list of political dissidents, Ranala of the Green Red Monster, Queen of Caria, for at least the next 10 minutes, resides in the magical academy of Malaysia Lucario. And to get there, <laughs> we need to head across a biological minefield known informally as the Crustacean Nation. It is here that we With face sniper lobsters. the fucking shrimp. I'm starting to think that PETA has a, has a point. So anyways, we head through the gauntlet, past the Octo Skeddy, and get completely sidetracked until I end up in fucking Nipton. But uh, we're gonna skip over most of the side content. You could say that we don't to have the time to hang out. Oh god, Just stop. You can find this area by Google searching Elden Ring Albania. This one is for all my baby girls. I see your comments, ladies, and they make me smile. I'm lurking Aww. and I'm stalking when you least expect. So after heading through the ruins of my marriage and killing the white people, we make it to the Hogwarts, only to find that the way is blocked by a mysterious seal. And next to it lies a map, which leads straight to the key. Their security is dog shit. This puzzle should be pretty easy. All we have to do is get past the dragon that's waiting there. This there are so many dragons. Dragons. So I'm going to keep a count. Just know that it doesn't get easier. You do need the hearts to get spells, So though. now that we've broken into magical racism land, it's time <laughs> to knock out revenge upon Chris Angel Mind Freak. It I like how he has to point that out. Because, ahem. <clears throat> Why is it that the goblins are just like a depiction of everything that is bad? I mean, just from the looks alone. 
why do they make why did they make them look so evil? Like, unless you are talking about Dobby and his brethren, not beyond his extended family, but everything else is just stereotypically bad. Oh, perhaps I should take it easy before JK Rowling sees this video and tries to ratio me. In one of the most pretty good-ish dungeons of the game, featuring brand new challenges and enemies, such as the spastic child, this man, 30 times in a the row. Snipers. The snipers. guy who helps me extract the blood from my body. Raging Lucario is a fa- <laughs> Raging Lucario is a fairly linear dungeon with some rather unusual architecture. Now, I'm no interior designer, but why is the entrance to the school a graveyard? Is this America? Anyways, we drive past Ohio as quickly as possible until we end up near the lecture hall. Singular. There is only one in the entire school. I guess they just do it on Zoom. Overseen by Mozilla lecture, Firefox. The answer is stabbing me. This is one hecking speederino doggo who is frankly an insult to every wizard <laughs> in the school. Their valedictorian eats his own shit. The gimmick for this chonking pupper is that he combines beast-like aggression with powerful magical attacks, but none was so devastating as when he corrupted my drive which destroyed this video. The last minute oh. of footage was reconstructed from memory, but besides that, his moveset is varied and intense, requiring expert evasion or just a mm. lot of healing. It really is a shame that his health bar is the size of an amoeba. I guess my weapon's <laughs> just covered in charm. Wow, this is just like my favorite show family guy. So before Chocolate we for take dogs. the 30 second walk to the next boss, I acquire some fat drip so I may no longer yeah. be fatherless. Now Carry a night for a classroom that can't be raided. We head up the stairs to experience bowling in VR. And after learning how to phase through oncoming traffic, we become sidetracked again as I am teleported straight to the turtle pope who wants yeah, to Yeah, brace me. This isn't explained and I don't want it to be. You know the game is great when it is a turtle asks you to join his religion. Only horror lurks behind that stare. Let's up uh, move on to something less disturbing. I can't believe I went to college without once seeing Ben Shapiro. <laughs> oh. I said less disturbing. Come on. What is up, guys? And welcome yes! To 300 I knew it! I freaking knew that he was gonna play Renala. I mean, you gotta keep going with the memes. 91 of my Minecraft Let's Play. This is a preschool, man. Today we're gonna be messaging my underage fans on the internet. Oh, oh boy. Welcome one and all across to Child Slaughter Fest 2002 2s. <laughs> That's right, this is an American school after all. And in this battle, we're going to be teaching these kids the harsh realities of the hood. Now, I know you don't need a gun. Say, and hopefully, it's not a police report. Max Orb, this fight looks kind of easy, like taking candy from a baby if the candy was their still beating heart. This is accurate. In fact, all you have to do is find the correct one to turn inside out, at which point Renala basically lets you go to town. The reason for this is that we aren't fighting a demigod. This is the demigod's ex-wife, who was dumped after she gave birth to 30 of herself. Mm -hmm. To some extent I can understand, but goddamn that child support. Kinda feel like I'm doing him a favor. Good evening, Twitter. This is your boy, Eat That Pussy. Four, what the four, fuck? Five. About like 30 to 45 minutes ago, I beat the fuck out of my dick. So oh God. no! I can't even feel my left leg. My left leg. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Called the EDP out. I guess there's a phase two. This video is so meta. Welcome to the real fight. It's still easy. Four Dark Souls, which means the challenge is getting anywhere close to her. This fight is essentially Dark Susk Gwendolyn if he slash them were a good boss. Using a vast array oh. of magic, other bosses, and the power That's of a good comparison. socially distance your skull from your neck. But even still, it's very manageable if you have any semblance of patience. My editing might tell you something about how I did. 70% of this fight is waiting for my turn. It's like I'm yeah. trying to stab Julius Caesar. Make sure you like, comment, God and subscribe damn it. so we can take this video to the moon. Yeah, we will. Sufficient damage is dealt. We find out that her second <laughs> phase has a second phase and its other bosses, including, of course, this bastard again and the actual straight up pack of wolves. Just make sure that you don't die, otherwise, it's back to the daycare. Needless to say, this fight is a visual and gameplay feast, and by that, I mean it does not end. The divorce may have hit hard, but it is hitting me harder, <laughs> so let's do to her life what her husband did to the marriage. Oh, there goes the camera. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, okay, fine. We're going back there. It's making me want to minimize the amount of air I breathe. Greetings again, Tarn. Yeah, okay. What knowledge <laughs> do you seek that brings you to my domain? Okay, so I've been to Red Lobster once already. Uh, where do I go next? Kaled. Back to California. Uh, you must continue your adventure in Kaled. Uh, Is that a problem? No, <laughs> not at all. There, there's nothing wrong with Kaled. <laughs> hey guys, needs McTherapy here. It's literally Brazil. You have the dancing doggos with the oversized heads. You have these freaking birds. Like, look at them. Jesus fucking Christ. And you have a final boss who will strike you with the accuracy of professional football player Roberto Carlos. Like, this guy, Radon, is a G. Today we're going to be playing in a Tim Burton land. Welcome to Kaelin. It's basically made of German bedtime stories. Who can forget <laughs> such legendary tales as Der Vogel, Der Bachpfeifen Gesicht, and most terrifying of all, Das Kinder Shredder. I'm sorry if you speak German, by the way. That's gotta be my least favorite disability. And on today's episode of Amnesia The Dark Descent, we are invited to a festival and slumber party where the sleep is permanent, all for a chance to face off against the third demigod on my Club Penguin friends list. Star Scourge Radon, captain of the hospice, resides within the walls of Red Main Castle where every year he throws a party to see who can keep their limbs the longest. The price of admission is just up, getting anywhere near him, because sometimes <laughs> life is just a Bulgarian and you are an unstolen car. So we ride. Literally the controlling the stars. Encountering many horrifying creatures beyond the reach of God and locking myself in the cum dungeon. The other kids laughed at me. They called me Jizzy Johnson, but now it's not. What? I laughing at them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I gotta stop this. My god, dude. What is wrong with you? Oh god. I, <laughs> you know, sometimes I really hate my brain because of how hectic things tend to happen. I'm not exactly sure if I'm anywhere near the spectrum of anything. I've dreaded ever getting a diagnosis for something, but this type of videos, hectic as they may be, actually make me very, very fucking happy. Great job, Maxwell. Oh, cool. It's a, it's another dragon. And this one is a, quite the special encounter because we get to fight him in the volume of an aquarium. He can't really touch anything. Otherwise, he uh, decouples his existence. Hey, what's up, guys? Maxor here. And today we're going to be gaming on the moon because that's what this shit feels like. In fact, <laughs> I heard you like dragons so much that I made an entire part of the map called Dragon Barrow. And I filled it with, you guessed it, an obscene quantity of dragons because truly we have not fought enough of them. I don't yeah. want to be here anymore. Let's put this in the future episode box. So far, we've seen a lot of traumatizing things, enough to give half of all American politicians cardiac arrest, but I've been saving the best for last, and by best, I mean the most evil game design ever. Oh, adventure. Super AIDS! The Swamp of Aeonia lies just within the center of Kaelid and contains enough AIDS to make Ronald Reagan <laughs> the region, and pretty much all of Kaelid, but mostly this fucking abomination, is infested with scarlet rot, which is like poison if it was made of radium, and get this, it's spreading. You can't even use a horse to bypass the radiation, because an NPC just invades you in the middle of the swamp. It's like I can hear the dulcet tones of the game director laughing at me. For your crimes, I am sending you to the moon. <laughs> This place is filled with all kinds of new and interesting ways to die, and my favorite lies at the center of the swamp, where we can find Commander O'Neill and his Bostonian Kennedy Mafia. Surprisingly enough, Easy. this is the only thing here that can't kill me. His moveset is so simple, it's Amish accessible. You could build oh. bomb around him in the time it takes for him to do damage. Maybe this boss would be better with a second phase, one where he whips out his lightning cock mm -hmm. and he pulverizes me until I'm gravel. But you know, that's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. Also, he up drops his ketamine needle, which I will now put to very good use. Yeah, to that poor right? coke addict. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I put more than a hundred hours into the video game, man. <laughs> Where the, is the fucking ending? Yeah. Uh, I, I haven't finished Elden Ring yet, uh, if you're wondering. I haven't. Because I'm enjoying every single second of it. It's wonderful. We're in a red main castle now. This entire level can be skipped because I think the devs realize that Kaelin is the actual level. Do you even know how many dogs were euthanized on my way here? Don't worry, you aren't actually missing anything unless you're a big fan of cats, such as life on the Serengeti. So, uh, welcome to the Festival of Ramadan. There are two attendants in total, and, uh, one of them is this guy. Hello again, Tarnished. How was your journey down the well? What the fuck is wrong with I you? I found no Timmy. About my cuisine. Speaking of which, did you ever find those children I talked about? 
Welcome one and all across to Child Slaughter Fest 2022. No. <laughs> Shame. Unfortunate. You know what? Maybe the jar will be a bit off. Missy called Jar Jar Binks. Missy your humble servant. Oh no. <laughs> so the stroke of obscene luck, we find a mostly sane person who says via YouTube Rawr, rewind that Radon is not here. Technically, you see, this castle is his euthanasia clinic, and we are going to pull the plug. I'm sorry, Grandpa. I have to charge my switch. <laughs> his consciousness has been gone for several hundred years due to the demigod Molania, who is the blade of Mikola, by the way. But that is a story for later. Mm. Essentially, his mind was eaten by the Scarlet Rot, but this man is literally too angry to die, and we are attempting to- He's an absolute badass. So, uh, I'm liking these odds. I'm just built differently. Very willed smithridly. Let's, uh, go start the mercy killing. And, uh, why is he so far away? Are those summon signs? <laughs> Welcome everyone to the open world RPG where I roleplay as the victim and today we are doing one of the best fights in all the video games. Star Scourge Radon is a big, buff, absolute unit of a boss whose only instinct is recycling your flesh back into the ecosystem. But you are not alone in this battle. There is no limit on how many people you can summon and if they die then you can just do it again. I'm sure they won't mind. I have essentially converted the game into an RTS and gotta fight Raid Boss Radon in World of Employee Harassment. Now you can fight oh. But why would you? This is a goddamn festival, and I will not be having sex by myself. Before you can even reach him, Radon is sniping your ass with the accuracy of my opinions on the internet, and firing a frankly suspicious amount of arrows from God. If you want to exercise the privilege of fighting him, you have to earn it. And that is the easy part. Even with summons, you need to pay full attention to his moveset, as his attacks are wider than American elections, and hit harder than a freight train on a semi. Now, you may have already noticed, but that is a comically small horse. It's like I'm looking at Chiquale Onale. This is because, in addition to being built like a steel mill, Radon has the power to defy gravity, which constantly gets him into fights with solar bodies. This man is skateboarding a horse and holding the While star holding the stars. He comes into contact with, and he does it from the hospice. Radon is an absolute god among chads, and this fight's intensity lives up to that and then some. And that is just phase one. Phase two starts when he, um... <coughs> Hello, Maxor. This is uh, General Radon. I have uh, taken a place to you trying to get rid of my broken mind and my addiction to cannibalism caused by my sister giving me super aids. And yes, while the game is co-written by Jar Jar Martin, I did not write her like I did my horse. <clears throat> Anyways, I'd like to introduce you to my favorite anime. It's called Neon Genesis Evangelion. And it begins with a second impact. <laughs> Fuck, I hate my mind. But yeah, I think it's fitting to this one. Uh, jumps into the upper atmosphere. <laughs> oh my god, Rodan is insane. Jesus Christ, he is a thick one. Oh god, I think my Zodiac just killed itself. This is sure <laughs> to negatively affect the trout population. <laughs> Won't someone please think about the economy? Wow. Jesus, this was good! Wow. I am... I'm at a lack of words. It's hysterical, it's funny, the editing is top-notch, the memes are just, just right, and the edge is beyond the stars. <laughs> But yeah, this has been it, an incorrect summary of Elden Ring Part 1. Let us wait for some time again before we get a Part 2. And as always, I highly, highly do recommend that you go and watch more of this video. And also, please do go and subscribe to every single one who was mentioned here on this list of uh, VAs. They are awesome, all of them. So yeah, with that said though, people, I wish you all to have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, of course, like and or hit that subscribe button to see more. And see you guys in the next one. Bye.